What's going on guys, Adam Luce here. Welcome back to another video, Moving Weight Fishing. And today, we are tight. You can see we're moving weight. And real quick, before we dive into this video, we got a couple new shirts coming in. In about four or five days, we got hooded performance shirts with a mutton design. I'll have those linked down below and a picture of them if they're not already up by the time this video goes up. Anyways, let's dive right in the video. Go check them out, movingweightfishing.com. This feels super cigar-y. Oh, sure. Wow. Top one's a name. Look at that unit of a cigar on the bottom there. Got a little sabiki rig here. Four ounce weight. How'd that work out, Jay? I got him here, Dan. Let's hope I don't get predatored up like CJ just did. Oh. These are little deans, dude. Really little. Really. Hopefully they're not leaving. One singular sardine. It's going to be a mutton in a little bit here. All right, so let's just see right now. We're at the Bay Rock. Let's see who's going to outfish CJ today. And it ain't gonna be Dan behind the camera. It's gonna be young Maloose. Sitting here catching Deans. Yeah, nice. Yep. <laughs> hey Jay, got something for you. <laughs> Jay saving that one for later. Jay, if Jay pulls up more than three here, I'd be impressed. See, I'm not impressed. See, you look at the mark. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, Jay got him pretty good there. Am I impressed? No, not at all. Not one bit. I'm still out of the game here. I'm tying a fresh rig on. These are gonna. These are a little bit smaller, Deans. What do you talk? They're literally the same size every time. I just lost them. They're not the same size. You guys know my Deans, and you know, these are drift, like they're really nice Deans to drift with, but how do I feel about bottom pushing them? I, I feel good. I feel like we're gonna catch a couple of nice mangroves today, along with our, you know, very standard mutton snapper that we're going to fish for. This cigar has been hanging out on the floor next to me for a while now. I think he thinks we're friends, but you go ahead and put him in the well. I don't like you, buddy. All right, Young Malus is back in the game here. See if I can just come back strong and pull up a quick four for maybe? I don't know. Notice how young Maloose just comes right into the game and just smokes a four for. Just notice that. Just notice me, Dan. What'd I say? Very little Deans. They're not little. Dan, do they look little to you? No, no, I haven't seen you in a while. Look, that was quite disrespectful. I eat one more time. Pretty simple what I'm doing a lot of, you'll see a lot of people out here drop down and do suspect stuff. Look what, I drop down, okay. Hit the bottom and I speak to them. Just like that. If this video gets 2,000 likes, I think I should go to Nantucket and do some bluefin fishing. All the talking I do about that place. Imagine if I brought Deans to Nantucket, Jay. Literally be unreal. I heard the fish in there is unreal. Right. Also, by the way, a little fun fact for you. I thought I made up the word Nantucket for a little bit there. No, I'm not joking at all. Um, I didn't even know that was a place. Sometimes it's aggravating because you'll get stuff like these little jacks and they'll just break your hook off the sabiki and kind of just mess up your mojo like CJ does to me. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and finish out bait fishing here. Wow, oh my god, Jay. Look at this cigar. Look at this cigar, man. That is a giant bait. We probably have 50 or so baits in the We're going to get a couple 
probably another 75 baits and um, we're gonna run off short of start mountain fishing, but we might see in a little bit, we might. Nice one. Ten incher. First mud in of the day for Jay. Is that a keeper? Looks like he's a 16 or Jay is literally nothing to the camera for usual. Jay, what do you have? A snapper on top? No, it's got nice head shakes. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. Dude, I have no idea. Those head shakes were unreal. Oh my, that's a snapper. That, that looks like a big snapper, dude. Looks like a big mangrove came on top. Might be that time of year. Most yeah, very bonita esque. Which bonita? Right. Jay just caught this little bonita here. And, uh,. We're gonna we're gonna cut it up, see if we can chum up the bottom here and attract the sharks to us. Oh, That's how you do that everyone. Wow. Mahi? <laughs> Very jump. It's a bonita. Actually cut it up this time. Yeah, we're gonna cut this up for mutton bait. This thing. What are you doing? You just put him in the water for. Jay's got him on. Nice one. Whoa, Jay. Step back a little before you get Goliath Grouper. Is that a bonita? What's up with the bonitas here? Oh, I have you. Well, you're beneath that. Very beneath that. Look at the oh, look at the shark on top. Oh my god, you guys have never seen a shark. It's fin out of the water, dude. It's unreal. <laughs> Alright, we're done here. Beneath? Yeah. Dan. Oh wow. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> I thought that was a big one for sure. That's plot twist of your life. Plot twist, Jake on a jack. Sleeping on me. It's gotta be a mutton. Yeah, that was a sleeper mutton. That's oh, a mutton. If this isn't a mutton, we're going home. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. Dude, it feels like a grouper. I've heard that like 10 times before. Yeah. What, Nan? What was that? I have no idea. You want to get you or? It's not a mutton. It feels like a grouper. It's not a jack. Mudden? Nice mutton. You know me, Dan. Do it before Jay does, at least. Wow. Jay's over there catching. Nantucket soundings, hammerjacks and stuff. Oh my gosh, was long. He just spit up, Jay, he just spit up another Dean. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know, because I lost him. Um, no, so let me show you what I do. So, this mutton here is super lively. I'd like to put him out of his misery. 
one for safety purposes and two because you know I have respect for the mountains so I stick this little thing right in his brain there it is right here see how he freaks out like that that's the end of this mutton snapper okay now, now he's completely dead and uh, now I can hold him up for the camera beautiful mutton snapper he choked it. He was sleeping on it. Go ahead, cut him off, and throw him in the cooler. See if Jay can catch. Oh, Jay's nice on the front line here. Oh, too bad he's Jay's got him on. Nice man, off. Looks like a little mutton. Very petite one, though. Right, specimus. Wow. So if you guys don't know, if you guys haven't seen our other mutton videos, I have one of them popping up right here. We use super long leaders, and we got a little hook with the tail hook bait. We use long leaders so our bait flows out when we have tie like this. And then we also have a three-way swivel with a little dropper loop with the lead. And a lot of people are like, how much lead do you fish? It, you gotta, you kinda gotta just feel it. It all depends on the tide. Right now I'm fishing an eight ounce because it's holding bottom. What? What, Jay? Is he keeper? Yeah. Wow. wow. Right now I'm fishing an eight ounce because that's a perfect amount. It's holding bottom with the tide. You don't want too much lead when you don't have a lot of tide because that's going to help you not feel your bite and you want to be able to feel your bite of course so and then i like to fish in the rod holder cj i mean it depends on the bite really like no matter what though we fish j hooks rodney gets them every time that mutton chokes it that's a bose jokes need this if i've ever that's how mine fought it's sliding <laughs> i got a mutton <laughs> It, if this is a mutton, I'll be so shook. If this is a mutton, we called him in like you wouldn't. Oh my god. What is that? It's just a bozo's neither. So, this is not the right species that we're looking for. This is an amberjack. Some people eat these. It's not even a keeper, anyways. I'm not going to eat them. I'm just going to cut them off and let them go. Grab a live bit out of the well. I'm going to kill them because I'm fishing a plugged beanyard. That's a secret mutton bait. Jay don't know about it. I guess. Just like that. I'll cut open. What do you got, Jay? Jack? Just like that. So it's swimming a little bit in the current. He's still live and fresh. That thing's gonna get smoked, man. Same technique. What this does too is like, sometimes the jacks won't find this. Just as quick as they'll find a live bait, they can feel live bait and see the vibrations. A mutton can kind of sniff this out. He says I got smoked. I don't know. I got a Bonita species here too, boys and girls. It's been a very, very tough day. We haven't done much talking. I don't think you boys and girls understand how bad it's been out here. We can't escape the Bonitas. I don't know what is going on. They're usually not, not close to this bad. Oh, depressing. We're very cutting two mutton, man. We just can't leave the Bonitas. Everywhere we go. Bonita-esque. Following us. <sighs> Some days it's like this though. I mean, look at Jay over there. My loose arm drag. Nice mutton. No idea what this is. Just dead weight. The bonitas? <laughs> Anything but a mutton? No, dude, he just spit it. Bro, that was a nice fish. What in the world is this? How about you land it this time? We'll find out. Jay, my last one felt like a cove. We're gonna be frank here. This one looks like a banana. No, it doesn't. It's cove-esque. Some people might say, who's Frank? Uh, just in a, what? What? Hold it up. Cuda? Ooh. Oh my God, Dan, film the shark. Holy crap. What was that shark doing in here? That thing was a unit. Give me a little. Oh, that's a mite! I had him, it's a mite, it's a nice one. I know, I know. Oh, he's at Harris. What's, what? Dan, I got something on the. Jay, I think I think I got Oh, another one just blew up right there. Oh, another dolphin right there, another dolphin. No, it's on you. No, 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 Jay, a dolphin right there just aired out. Get another bait. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, but you got one. Guys, we're, we're in 40 feet of water. Another nice dolphin just aired out right there. Oh, I have him, Jay. Yeah. On this one. Yeah, Jay. 
You want to pick this one up? I can't. I think I need it all over me. <laughs> you have... Watch put, out. Put this rod... Relax. Put that rod over there. I don't mind. There's a dolphin on this one. That's a nice Look how one. sick that... Tell him. Where'd the other one go? He's on my rod. He's on that rod. Oh, he ate your bait. Yeah, he ate my bottom bait. He was jumping. Well, Alright, Dan. Said, no, I'm gonna flip this. Oh, he's not hooked well. Give me the mini gaff, Jay. He's jumping. Look at. Wait, you gotta look at Jay. Jay's got that dolphin on the other rod. On the bottom rod. Wow. Dan, ready? Ready a little self gaff on this little dolphin? Why is this thing smoking me? Jesus, do a little handline action on that dolphin. Oh, that's a pretty one. Dan, right here. Look at him jumping. Jay got him in? Yeah. Yours is decent. 40 feet of water. Very Braden esque. Little dolphin here. Trying to catch a couple. Hold on. Mine. Look at this. Beautiful. Here. There you go. Beautiful little dolphin. Look at that. Hook right in the corner of the mouth there. Jay got his in the boat. It's right there. Show Jay's. Jay's is blue as could be. Now it's greener than green. You know me down a little self headshot. Here's two dolphin. Oh, you can't complain with that. It always happens here for some reason. It happened on our last trip too. It's funny. So this is what we got. I got a live sardine. I'm throat hooking it with a knocker lead, sending it down there inside the sardine school. They bite. Oh, oh my God. I just got smoked. Oh my God. That's a snook. Yeah, it is. No, it is. Ugh. We got a nice snook on here. Just dropped down in the Dean School. Oh my, what, the Nantucket? He smoked it. It's a nice one, Dan. Big snook. Ah. Come here. Come to young Maloose. Oh, it's a grouper. Just kidding. Dan was like, what? Look at this snook. Whoa. Did you get that jump? Look at him. Oh my gosh. What do you think he is? 33, 34? Yeah, he's a little bit. He's putting on a show though. Look at him. Keeps jumping. Come here. Look at that. Hook popped right out. It's a Dean Eater. If these snook were in season right now, let me tell you what. Oh my gosh. Probably be a little bit. What do you think it'd be over, Jay? Might be 32. That's a pretty snook. Go ahead and let him go. See ya. All right, that's it. We're going home. We'll see you guys back at the flay table. We are back at the flay table here, and then we got our beautiful mutton snapper. He's been sitting on ice for about a day now. And uh, I, I kind of like to let my fish sit on ice for a day. You don't really need to gut them when it's only one day, but it just gets that meat really hard and nice. And I just like it. I don't know. But I'm flaying with my... I think it's, believe it's my seven or eight inch Dexter blade. You can save 20% off by using code ADAM20 at checkout, anything from Dexter's website, and they are my favorite knives. I use them in every video, you guys know that. I used them way before I was sponsored and I'm still using them now. So let's go ahead and start filleting this, this bad boy mutton. Also, we're trying some new wireless mics out, so let us know what you think. I'm trying not to yell because I usually do yell to the camera. You know me. Knife just glides effortlessly right through the other side. Cut that. Get all this head meat here. And all I have to do now is come up over this rib cage. Just like that, boom. A beautiful mutton snapper filet. Doesn't get any better than that. And now 
I'm actually gonna go ahead and cook this fish on the half shell because I've really been enjoying doing that. So all I have to do is, I'm not, not skinning it, if that's what, if you didn't know what that means. I'm just taking these pin bones out, just taking these pin bones out here. It's all bone and, and bloodline. So now, oh, one little piece, rib cage there. We have our beautiful mutton snapper filet with the skin and scales on and I'm going to flay up the rest of these fish and then meet you in the kitchen and show you what we're doing with that. We were cooking on the grill whole, or not whole, with the scales and skin on the half shell. I don't know what it does, but it adds flavor and it's delicious. Let's go to the kitchen. Just got back in the kitchen here and I'm only cooking up just one side of this mutton snapper on the half shell, just for me, just for lunch. There's be actually plenty of fish. And I'm just going super, super simple today. A little bit, just a little bit of salt. Good amount of cracked pepper here. Just like that, perfect. And a little bit of Old Bay to top it off. Just like that should be perfect. And then, one lemon, dose lemon. That looks good enough for me, Dan, what do you think? Good. Just a little quick lunch for young mothers, you know, quick lunch. Bring it out to the grill here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this mutton on the grill, skin side down, just like that. I'm not, I'm just cooking it through the skin up, that's it. And you just have to watch it, cause you can dry it out when you're doing it like this, you know what I mean? I'm not flipping sides, I'm just cooking it one way up. But that's, the skin has so much flavor, moisture, so does the scales too. Don't know where it comes from, but it comes from the scales and skin. Um, real quick, we're grilling outside. It is not as sunny of a day as we would like it to be. You know, it's a little bit sunny, but it's a little bit overcast out. And that's why we're not fishing. Fishing wasn't great, hasn't been great. Anyways, these are my favorite sunglasses. These are the oceanized, polarized, salty dogs. I don't know what color lens this is, but I love them. It's almost like a it's like a light blue kind of almost dark gray, right, Dan? Yeah. Can you see it? This is it picking up on camera? Yeah. Look, I can see look, we can see me and you in the gray. reflection. You see this? Yeah, but if you almost hold it to one side, it looks completely gray and then the other looks like it has a blue tint. Yeah, like a super like light, just cool color blue. I don't know. They feel amazing when I put them on. Everything's just, it's so natural. I almost forget most of the times I'm wearing sunglasses. It's honestly unbelievable. I wouldn't be bragging like this to you about these sunglasses if I didn't like them. I'm gonna be 100% honest here. I used to wear Costas for probably four years of my life. Okay, I used to actually not wear glasses up until I was about like 11, 12 years old. Big mistake, you need sunglasses when you're fishing and in the sun, you can really damage your eyes. And I made that mistake when I was younger. Once I put sunglasses on, there's no going back. I can't even walk outside without them. Anyways, I wore Costas for about four years, up until about, I think it was a little bit over a year ago. Um, I lost my Costas. We were tarpon fishing. Uh, a tarpon smacked them off my face. They're ridiculously expensive glasses. I called my old boss at Fish Headquarters, Tommy. I'm like, Tommy, can you hook me up with a pair of Costas? I lost them, I'm so upset, blah, blah. Can you give me a deal? He's like. Why don't you talk to Skip from Ocean Eyes? And I knew working at that tackle shop, we sold Ocean Eyes. I never tried them on. I always thought, mm, they're a little bit cheaper pair of glasses. The better, one, the better ones must be expensive. That's why they're expensive. So they must be so much better, right? That's what everybody thinks. That's everybody's mindset. So I, I wore Costa, never tried Ocean Eyes. He's like, give Skip a call. I called Skip. Skip's like, try out a couple pairs. I fell in love with these glasses. I wear them every single day. I wouldn't wear them if I didn't like them because you guys see our videos. We're out in the sun every day fishing. I need to, wear, you see my glasses tan. I literally wear glasses all the time. Um, I'm gonna let the glasses speak for themselves. Go ahead and purchase a pair. It really helps support our channel too. You can use code ADAM10 at checkout and save 10% off. I'll have the link down below. It is buyoceanize.com. And like I said, these are the salty dogs and they fit my face perfect. I don't know about you, it's all preference, but I love them. Let's get back to grilling. All right, so it hasn't been cooking on here longer than six minutes, and that's all you want. We cooked it at about, come on, 350 degrees. I'm gonna have a tough time grabbing this thing, man. I'm just gonna slide it right on here. It's falling right apart, I really like it. Oh, beautiful, just like that. 
Now the skin is super crispy, but remember the skin has, yeah, look, the skin has scales. So you're not eating the skin, you're just picking the meat. You see how flaky the meat is. Oh my gosh, can't wait to eat this. And I'm gonna do, take the lemons off. And, mm, cooked lemons have so much flavor. Yeah. It's unreal. Squeeze a little bit of fresh lemon on here. You know, get the grill nice and sauteed up. Look at that, Dan. Wow. Smoke coming off it. Mmm. Boy, is that good. It's hard to dry out, man. You gotta be, you gotta be a serious bad cook to dry this fish out. Mmm. That's unbelievable. We did absolutely nothing to this fish. I just cleaned it, just brought it inside. I mean, salt, pepper, Old Bay, and lemon. That's it. That's all you need sometimes when you're cooking fish, really. It's not complicated. Mm. Oh, like a, now you gotta be careful though when you're eating it because see that like this piece has so many scales. You just gotta peel. If you cook it right, it should peel right off, just like that. Yeah. I'm gonna stop eating on camera. I'm gonna go ahead and crush this meal. It's really good. We are doing. Sorry, we are doing um something I've been wanting to do for a while now, and releasing. They're hooded performance shirts, just like these ones, the long sleeve shirts, but they do have the hood on them. It's really hot this time of year, and uh, they're nice. They, they keep you out of the sun. You can put it over your hat, you can put it over your head if you're not wearing a hat, whatever it is. A lot of you guys have been asking for them, so it really does help support the channel when you do buy a shirt. These shirts might be here by the time this video's out. If not, they will be here within three days of the video coming out, for sure. Um, they should, today is, Today, the 10th, the 9th. Yeah, they'll they, be here. They should be here by the 12th, the latest. So. They'll be here. They'll be here. The video's out, they'll be here. I'll have a link down below. It'll be popping up everywhere. If they're here, you'll see it. If not, you can still go to my website and just get ready. Check it every day because they're coming shortly. They are not expensive. For We're not really making much money off of these anyways. No. I've seen other people charging about $60. Yeah, yeah. some other people charge $60 for them. We're only going to charge... Probably forty dollars tops is is what we're charging. No more than forty dollars. And we just want to make the customers happy. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video. It really helps uh, YouTube spread the videos to other people who haven't seen the videos before. And we're trying to grow the channel, trying to get bigger, trying to make more content for you guys. So we're gonna keep banging out videos. Till next time, moving weights out. Thank you so much for watching.